Welcome back to the Throttle YouTube channel. My name is Quinn. Today we're going to be working on our Evo 10 sweepstakes car and we have a bunch of parts that I'm very excited to install. It's going to make this thing feel and handle a lot better. So first of all, we have an action clutch. We have a lightweight flywheel. I love lightweight flywheels. I love how they feel. I love how they sound. I love how they react. We have an action stage one clutch. So this is a street clutch. It is a sprung clutch, which means it's going to be very daily drivable, very comfortable to use, but also still have good performance. So it's not some heavy, crazy race clutch or anything. This again is a street car. We have a set of torque solutions trans mounts and engine mounts. One of the main problems I have with this car is when you're really, really going at it, you can feel the chassis and you can feel the engine unload all that weight between shifts and it doesn't really feel too good. It makes a pretty ugly sound. So I suspect some of the mounts are on their way out. So this mount set is going to resolve that issue completely. We also have a KDN shift kit here. That's gonna be replacing the factory shifter. We have a KDN shifter in our clips and I absolutely love it. So this is gonna really improve the way the car feels. The clutch is gonna feel way better. The shifter is gonna feel awesome. It's gonna be great. So let's get started. I got our bumper off, so we're gonna be doing a few more things than just the clutch in this video. And Mickey wanted to make some adjustments underneath the bumper, so we took it off. Also, I don't wanna accidentally damage it, throwing wrenches around, trying to get this transmission out. So just to be safe, we pulled it off. So I need to get the air box off so I can access the slave cylinder and the shifter cables. Now, because we're gonna be taking the transmission and all the associated mounts off, the weight of the engine is not gonna be on the mount, so we need to put an engine support brace to hold the weight of the engine. That's what we're installing here. Next up, underneath the car, we need to take all the bracing off, the Cusco bracing, the subframe bracing. Uh, we can start getting the mounts out, taking the exhaust system off, and the axles out of the way. It's gonna give me plenty of room to get the transfer case and transmission off. We got pretty much everything out of the underside of the car that we needed to get off, axles are out, drive shafts out. If you're gonna tackle an Evo 10 clutch job on your own, I would recommend pulling the subframe because it allows so much more room to work with when you're removing the transfer case and the transmission. Getting the transmission out with the subframe in place, you kinda have to wiggle it and move it around the subframe and it's not really ideal, but if you remove the subframe, it makes for a much cleaner removal and reinstall. I like to do whenever I get a transmission off on one of these things is strap it down to the jack so that it doesn't come off for any reason. Now she ain't going anywhere. Then we can start working on the clutch. Over on there. Time for the big gun. Ooh. Oh, oh, Ooh, just oh. Hand. Oh. Pretty hot spotted. You can see the distortion in color. Yeah, it's almost got like a rainbow-ish. So, a lot of heat, but this is an Evo, so. Our rear man looks good, which makes me happy. So nice. We're gonna sneak one in. So that'll hold that in place. Now I can go grab my Loctite. We can Loctite these and then we'll torque them all down and then we'll start putting on the clutch. First round is 30 foot pounds and then the second round is 96. Let you know that jet tags are buy one get one free on the throttle website the promotion ends tonight at midnight use code bogo tag bogo tag? tags okay. use code <laughs> bogo tag buy one get one free tonight baby every dollar you spend at throttle.com is going to get you one entry to win our evo 10 screw zinger plus twenty thousand dollars cash let's get back to the video we got a red clutch and Ooh. it's tuesday red clutch on red shirt tuesday are you wearing a red shirt though don't you ever question me, dog. Dang, red shirt Tuesday. Where's Ricky? Ricky, where's your red shirt? Ricky's not here today. Ricky didn't even show up today. All right, so we got our flywheel installed. It's all cleaned off. Flywheel side, clutch alignment tool. So this is actually gonna sit in the end.
So our action clutch is officially on. We've got our pressure plate bolts torqued. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean this crusty mess and then replace the throwout bearing because it came with a new throwout bearing. So we'll get that swapped over then we'll get our transmission back in the car. Before we put the transmission back in, we're gonna install our first torque solution mount. So this is the main mount that holds the transmission up. So we have two main engine mounts, one over here, hold the motor up, one underneath all of this, which is this guy. So it goes on up under like that. We're gonna get the old one out, slam this one in, then our transmission is going back in. There goes the old mount. Dang, this one's... Thick boy. Stout mount. It's also aluminum, so it's lighter weight versus this junky cast piece. Good. Let's go. Put her in. Let's go, baby. So before we can put our new KDN shifter in, I need to pull all the factory stuff out. So let's get this thing torn apart and we can start playing with the new stuff. This stock shifter is huge. Jesus. That's what she said. Gotcha. Just a little late. <laughs> There we go. So much plastic. Okay, moving on. That was not fun. We got the old ones out. Let's go grab our uh, KDN new shift cables. It's going a lot easier than these cables. Now we have another Torque Solutions mount going in. This one is the rear transmission mount. Once we get this up in, then we can get the transfer case in and we can start putting our subframe back in. But I'm gonna put this in now because we have so much room to play with and it's gonna be way easier to get this in now. Let's grab our transfer case. Bug will help me put the subframe back in. All right, so here's the fun part. First of all, these need to come out. Oh yeah, those, are those, those guys. Those guys. The second fun part about this is the sway bar needs to go on top of the subframe, but also over the steering rack. So if you want to grab the sway oh, bar, yeah, you yeah. can start working that in.
Got the subframe completely in. Just finished reattaching the steering rack to the subframe. I'm bolting the sway bar down now. We have a few more things that need to get attached. We need to attach uh, some of these fluid lines that have mounting points to get secured to the subframe. We need to reattach the sway bar to the control arms. From there, then we can start working on the rear mount and then we'll keep jamming. Axles, drive shaft, exhaust, all that good stuff. Special delivery. Got some new Viper chairs. They actually came out with a limited edition, all blacked out version. This is the traditional Viper chair chair. This one gets a lot of use around here. Probably half the day somebody's sitting in this chair. Wee, wee, oh my God, wee. So a huge shout out to Viper chair for hooking us up with these sweet work chairs. If you guys are in the market or have a garage or a shop, highly recommend looking into Viper chair. So I've got our subframe back in, our transfer cases in, the steering rack, all that stuff is bolted down. Now before we get too crazy putting things back in the engine bay, I actually want to get Arcadian shifter installed and dialed in because we're probably going to have to make some adjustments to the cables to get this working correctly like we did on the Eclipse. So we have a lot of adjustment on the rods and the threads and just get everything copacetic and working properly so we don't have any problems going into gear. It's going to be a lot easier to do when we don't have a lot of stuff in the engine bay. So let's get this guy tossed in, get it dialed in. It's like a rifle. It's like a bolt action rifle. Wow. That's, dude, this is gonna be sick. Let's go. They make a sick shifter. KDN, good work. Shifter is all the way in. Now we're gonna start reinstalling our interior. KDN shifter fits with a stock center console. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit with the boot. So we're gonna take the boot off and see if this panel alone will fit, and then we can start working the boot back on if we decide to put it back on. We have our center console piece out here, so this is where our shifter comes through, and the KDN shifter is actually touching a little bit here, so we're gonna trim some of this. So I have my marks. We're gonna make it nice and pretty and fit. So I think we're right about there with the trimming on this. We're gonna test fit it, make sure everything's good. Needs just a hair more. It's 99% there. It's about as good as this is gonna get. All right, our KDN shifter is done. Everything fits well, everything looks good. What do you think, Mr. Mickey? Hey, all right, nice tight cut around there too. How's it feel? Good, really tight. Dang, looks really cool. Have a sit. Wow. That's very precise, huh? KDN makes some nice stuff. This is the exact same shifter that's in the Eclipse? Uh, very similar, yes. Yeah. I like it. Looks, Looks the really business good. too. Sweet, um, very nice. So now we got the shifter all dialed in, we can move back into working underneath the car. So I wanna get the axles in, I wanna get this mount and arm on, and then we're gonna refill the transmission because I had to drain all the fluid, I have to take it out, and then we're gonna top off the transfer case because a little bit of fluid came out from there. Then we're gonna start working into the exhaust system and then some of the under trays like the one that's here, our Cusco brace, and then we can start working at stuff up top. Let's keep going. Crusty mount off. We're actually gonna hang the new Torque Solutions mount from the mount arm on the transmission, and then we'll put this brace up, get the bolt started, tighten everything down as one, and then we'll start adding fluids. I got 
the transfer case topped off already. We need to put gear oil in our transmission so we can get this thing back on the road. We're gonna be using Motul 7590. Then we can start putting the exhaust on, start getting our under trays back on, and uh, go rip this thing. I think we're full. Yep. We are full. Transmission's filled. Let's keep putting parts on this thing. Aside from the plastic under trays and the bumper, this is the last piece that needs to go on underneath this car, then all the work's up top. So next thing we need to do is actually bleed the clutch now because the air box and I have a whole bunch of bracketry that goes on top of all this stuff. It's gonna be way easier to bleed it now because it's literally right there we have all the room. So I've got Ricky in the car pumping the clutch. We're gonna bleed this thing and then we'll start throwing the air box on and we'll get stuff in. Okay, our clutch is bled. Everything feels good, everything's working right. We're gonna go ahead and top it off with some Motul 660 bracing brake fluid. Now uh, keep installing the air intake. Last thing we need to do before we put the front bumper on is put our last torque solutions mount on. So this is the engine mount. The other three were transmission and torque mounts. So this guy is actually gonna be replacing that cast ugly piece right there. So we're gonna have to move a few things and then we'll dig the old one out and put this one in. Let's get these parts out of the way a little bit faster. All right, stuff's out. Now we gotta get the mount out. Crusty mount out. Yeah. Pro Solutions mount. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Got a little sneak peek. What is that? Like that? That's the new uh, sticker for the next merch drop. Dang. Coming out free. First car to get it right here. Got it. Oh, did nail it. That's good. The Evo is back on the ground. Tomorrow morning, because it's getting a little late here, we're gonna take it out for a test drive, make sure the clutch feels good, make sure the shifter feels good, make sure everything's copacetic and the car is working properly. So we'll see you guys in the morning. So everything is working properly, everything feels good. The shifter feels great. The clutch feels way better than the original clutch. That clutch was on its way out, so it was grabbing really high on the pedal travel. This one is grabbing towards the lower half of the clutch pedal, which is really good. So overall, it's an improvement. We do need to break in the clutch, so driving this thing as much as we can is gonna help that. We won't really be able to do any real power pulls with this thing until the clutch is broken in, but functionality-wise, it feels great. We do need to add a little bit of sound deadening in the shifter area, because some of the sound from the transmission tunnel and all that stuff is bleeding through. The stock shifter was a super heavy, dense plastic, and this is a really kind of simplified, really cool. It's a race shifter, but it has a little bit more noise coming through the cabin. So I don't know if you can hear, pick it up at all. 
So we need to put a little bit of sound deadening in to cure that, but aside from that, it feels great. Everything looks good, everything feels good. The shifter feels freaking awesome. Super racy, I love it. sound that these KDN shifters make. They sound so cool. And they're nice and stiff and just so crisp. This paired with HKS exhaust, this thing's gonna be so fun to drive when you're freaking just ripping it. It sounds so cool. We replaced the original mounts that came with this car with the set from Torque Solutions. I can feel an improvement right away. There's no more lurching of the engine. When you unload between shifts, especially doing power poles, you can feel the weight of the motor and the trans just unloading on the worn mounts. And so there's like none of that with this. We haven't done any power poles with it yet, but it already feels way better than it did. I think when we're ripping this thing, it's gonna make a huge improvement. This paired with the shifter, perfect so that is it for this video we got our evo 10 all dialed in the action clutch kit we installed feels way better we also installed our kdn shifter which feels fantastic incredibly smooth incredibly precise shifts we also installed our torque solutions mount which are a huge improvement over the factory mount this car feels way more refined way more stiff it feels like an overall improvement on the car and i love it so this thing is definitely a driver now. Every part you saw us install in today's video is available for shop at throttle.com. Head over there, get yourself some car parts, get yourself some sweet merch. Every dollar you spend is gonna be one entry to win our Evo 10 sweepstakes car plus $20,000 cash. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Win cam is live. The clutch is gonna feel well bit. The clutch is gonna feel well bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we got. What is it? Holy crap! I almost died. Oh. Dude, Jesus Christ, that thing was fucking, dude. Got. Ooh, I was waiting for this. This is hard to Let's film. Go. Here, you can set it down right here. It's a big box. A little sneak peek. This is that new stuff. This is for the finale of the Evo sweepstakes. New hoodie. Ooh. Matches the car. She nice. She nice. We got, oh, we got, we got some oh. new new hats. Well, we got these too. Oh, a little side livery. Oh, some tees, yeah. Side livery? Oh, we have to open that up. Open her up. Let's so these, see it. This is a new product they can buy on the website? This is. Dude, these are from Premium, actually. Premium makes these I didn't for know us. About these. This is, this this is, is substantial. You gonna put this, are you going to put it on the E30? Maybe. Woo! This is sick. Oh, I was going to the side. This is a side stripe, dude. Yeah. It's pretty large and in charge. It's supposed to be so that it, you know you got to choose where you want it to, to bleed off, right? That's oh. sick.